Hi, it's Beverly here again at Crafting Chaos. Um, I was requested from a Facebook friend, um, part of a group that I belong to with the Brother Scan and Cut, if I could explain how I'd use the Brother Scan and Cut type converter to create a sentiment that I put on a card because they said they were having trouble doing that. So that's what this video is about, so let's dive right in. So first of all, you need to locate a font that you'd want to use. I um, like to use the font to um, select fonts that I want to download and one that I know works really well because it's a nice fine line font is called Europe Underground and there it is. So look, if you locate the font in the font, click search and if we look at that I'll just make the screen bigger so you can see. In here you can type your text so if we say happy birthday obviously that's quite often what you want to put on a card you can put whatever you want and that will then show you a picture or a, a sort of screenshot if you will of what it's going to look like when it's print when it's printed on your not printed drawn on your computer or even on your scan and cut thank you okay so you download that to your downloads folder and install the font as you would any ordinary font this is not about installing fonts if you need me to do a video on installing fonts let me know in the drop in the box below and i'll do another video okay so once you've got that downloaded you would then need to do a couple of things and the first thing you need to do is download a piece of software called Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter. It's free to download at the Brother Solution Center. And if you download that, it's available for both Mac users and um, PCs. And all you need to do then is type what it is you want. And I'm going to do happy birthday in this case. And then find the font. And that, we can pick any font, but because we want a nice fine line that's going to draw nice, I'm going to use the Europe Underground. Okay, if we had a preview now, you can see that the letters of the font are very, very slim. So that's just like one font pass with your pen, if you will. Um, if you think it's a little bit close together, and some, for some people it may be, you've got the added feature here of changing the character spacing. So you can increase the character spacing. And if we now preview that, we can see that the characters have been somewhat... Um, spaced out but they've been spaced out evenly across the word now i'm going to go back to one because i think one's fine and we're going to click preview that and i'm happy with that and i'm going to click save i'm just going to call it hb for happy birthday and i'm going to stick it on my desktop where it's easy to find okay so hopefully now we should have there we can see it the hb fdm on there so now i can close down the um, brother scan and cut type converter because I've finished with that and then we'll go back onto the internet and I need to open the scan and cut canvas workspace so if I type in canvas and workspace comes up for me but it's canvasworkspace.brother.com if you need to type in a little bit more for it to be found now I've already got an account on mine so it should log me straight in because I'm already logged in but all you need to do if you've not got an account just create one and it's really intuitive on the site that you're on the landing page that you land on you just have to select yourself a username and a password so now I'm going to import that file that we've just made in the text converter font converter I apologize um, and I'm going to click on this file icon which is the import SVG FCMDXF and we've saved an FCM file to our desktop and we should be able to locate it. So you click that button, choose file and then go to the desktop where I saved it and there it is and I'm going to select it and then say OK. Now that will bring in the file, happy birthday, but what you'll see now if I just increase the size of the matte image a little that you can see it better that will now have them all individual letters, which is fine because it means we can manipulate it if we want it a little bit wonky or a bit um, sort of bespoke and we didn't want it quite straight and we wanted it to look a little bit different. You can manipulate it individual letters, but it can be a pain as well. So it just depends what you want to do with it. So I'm just going to select everything for now. And I do that by sort of dragging a, 
a box, if you will, around everything. Alternatively, you can do select all, edit select all, and it's here. But I tend to use the, the mouse pad because I find that easier, but it works just the same. And I can, from there, go edit and group, which now has grouped them all together. So that now means I can move the whole lot independently so i can move it a little bit further onto my mat so i've got a bit more work, working space okay so i'm going to ungroup it because sorry excuse me i'm going to ungroup it because i want to be able to show you something that you need to do if you're if you're after making the font a writing font a drawing font if you fill that with color you'll see I'm just going to the properties, which is in view and properties. If I select my file now, you'll see that if I fill that with colour, it shades in also all of the, <clears throat> the holes, if you will, in the letters for want of a better expression. So the B where there'd be two holes has now got a filled in area, which your scan and cut will fill in if you want it to colour, cut it. it um, draw it if you're after cutting it it's not a problem but if you want it to draw this steps really important now I find it if you click on the letters and you click on the sex sorry I'll show you again when I do the next one did that one a little bit quickly and it's running a little bit slow at the minute so I do apologize for that now I can take that bit out and then you just repeat that for each of the process the overlap move it delete it so edit sorry I'm on the wrong thing edit process overlap and so on I'll just leave it at happy for now because that will just speed up the video so you do carry on and do the same across from birthday I would then group it now that I've got happy with it and I will go to the properties box and because I know that I want that to be a drawing line only I'll click drawing line only. If I then wanted to put some sort of a, a border around it, basic shape that I could cut out after I've drawn it, which is what I would do with a sentiment, most people would have that on there. You can select a shape of your choice or even a tag, whatever, if you want to bring it in from elsewhere. And just um, to make it a little bit more interesting, we'll choose a heart and we can say, kind of saying happy heart so what I've done is brought on a heart shape I'm going to select both center them on the vertical axis so I know that happy is directly in the center of that heart now this heart if I select it I want that to be a cutting line what I don't want it to do is draw it and then cut it so I'm going to make that a dedicated cutting line from the properties dialog box here okay so that's what you do. Set you've set the line. If I was to show you that, I could colour that by putting a little bit of colour behind it. And if you want it to see the text on top, we'll send that to back, and that's what it's going to look like. So if you cut that out, if you drew that in black and on some buff coloured card, that's what it would look like. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Remember, the colour on here is just for your benefit, just so you can see it. it obviously, the colour you determine is what you cut out on your machine. Okay, all that's left to do now is to save. So we go to our project title. I'm going to call it Happy Heart. And I'm going to click the second one along. Again, don't be alarmed over at the project. It was a blank map, so we're not overwriting anything. And click that button. The next step is download so we're going to download my only option is to download to a, um, the um, macbook itself and then put it on a usb if you've got the wi-fi option go for that and that will transfer your file via the cloud immediately to your scan and cut okay so i'm going to download that to my pc i'll stick it on my desktop so i know where it is and save I'll now drag that onto a USB and then this next bit I'll show you how that works and cuts out. Okay, see you in part two. Thank you.